everybody. I'm Jim Korska. I've been a member for, uh, I don't know how long, but long enough that I became the Apple TV expert. Shows you how easy these kinds of names come about. I asked three questions, I think, over a period of a month, and uh, George decided I would be it. It's not hard to become an expert here. Yeah. Um, so, um, the first thing we're going to do is, I've often thought a lot of the questions that we ask in here, I know a lot of the questions we ask in here can be answered on YouTube if you do a Google search on YouTube. So I thought, I thought, what the heck, let me try doing a Google search on the Apple 4K. All kinds of videos came up. And this was, I'm going to show you um, what's called the unboxing video. Okay, this is a group of guys or gals or both that open up a new product, take it apart, show you what's in the box, show you, show you the uh, uh, item, and then sort of put it through its paces, find out what it's all about. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, I'm just going to show you about two and a half minutes of it, so you can see a, a good picture of what the Apple, the new Apple TV 4K looks like. I've taken a different approach this time from past talks I've given. This is, I think, my third Apple TV talk, or fourth <coughs> Apple TV talk, if you include the one where not is. And, uh, excuse me, I'm going to chew the gum. What did I do with my sticker? There it is. Um, and I've always sort of done a square one kind of talk from the very, very beginning. And I decided this time, maybe for my own amusement, that I would use a greatest hits approach. And assuming that, you know, once you see what the Apple TV looks like and what you hear what, about what it's for, which I'm assuming many of you already know, that I'd be jumping right into the meat of what's, what's new and interesting about it, okay? So, <clears throat> we'll also have time for questions. I know you have one, and, uh, and I thought it applied to everybody, but I actually answered that question in number three here. But let's, uh, I'm drowning in remotes. Uh, let's uh, take a look at Well, guess what? By getting off the app, I lost the search. Okay, well, you get to see how it works. How's that? Apple TV 4K unboxing and review. There it is. Okay, that's the video I needed. So we're going to watch about uh, two, three minutes of that. Just check everyone down. It's three minutes, three minutes and six seconds. What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Board, checking out the brand new Apple TV 4K. And it starts off at 179 or 199 for two sizes, 32 or... How's the audio back there? Can you hear it? Right. Yeah. 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 That's a big jam box <coughs> right there. That's a, that's a premium audio speaker connected via Bluetooth to the Apple TV. So it's a wireless, <coughs> it's a wireless speaker. I've had it for a few years. 64 gig capacities. You can still buy the 1080p Apple TV for 149, but that also got a slight update with a slightly redesigned remote controller and some new fonts on the top of the Apple TV. 
but we're going to focus on the 4K model and start with the unboxing. Now, for the most part, the hardware looks very similar on the outside, but there's a few differences we'll get into. So the Siri remote design is pretty much carried over. We still have a trackpad toward the top, a smooth glassy surface toward the bottom, and to make the orientation clearer, we now have a raised white ring surrounding the menu button. Although it's a very subtle change, it does make using this remote controller a lot easier. Now, the top is a glass trackpad that clicks. We have a physical click here, and for the most part, the trackpad is very responsive, although it can be a little finicky. We also have a dual microphone, so you'll see a pass-through on the front and the back, so this does work with Siri. Toward the bottom, we'll find a lightning connector, which is symmetrically balanced with the IR blaster at the top of the remote. So when you connect your Apple TV to either an AV receiver or a television set, you can actually control the volume from the included Siri remote automatically. Next up, we have the Apple TV itself wrapped in plastic, and the dimensions of this are identical to the previous model. But there is a slight change, which you'll notice on the bottom, and that's because we have ventilation and a fan built into the Apple TV. And that's because it's running a bit hotter, and that's because we have that A10 CPU, which is doing a few other things besides just powering 4K video. It's also upscaling video to 4K and HDR. By default, the Apple TV upscales all content to 4K, whether it's in that format or not. And if your TV supports it, it will also upscale to either HDR10 or Dolby Vision. But this is something you can change under settings, and we'll get to that. Also included is a power cable with that typical Apple design with that nice smooth plug so it looks a bit different than any other plug you might put into your power outlet so you know right away which one is the Apple TV which is kind of handy. Also in the box is some paperwork with a quick start guide and a set of Apple stickers. And lastly we get a lightning cable for recharging the internal battery of the Siri remote. Now personally from my experience the Siri remote battery lasts a really long time at least a month with heavy use. There are some other significant internal differences, so we have an A10X Fusion processor instead of the A8. We also get some new wireless technology, such as Bluetooth 5 instead of 4. The ports have also been updated. Obviously, we needed an HDMI 2 port instead of the 1.4 on the 1080p model. And we also go from a 10 base T Ethernet port to full Gigabit Ethernet. And although the Apple TV 4K does not have a USB-C port, you can use Wi-Fi to remotely access the device, including for screen recording. And if you have a sharp eye for font, you'll notice a change here with a new generation, and this applies actually to the old one as well, so they actually updated it just for the font style. And I'm not a font expert, but the top of the T on the new font is flat instead of angled. <laughs> wow. Okay, I want, if you take nothing away from this video, <laughs> I want you to take away that the top of the T is flat instead of angled. These design choices, I'm sure Apple had a 14-member committee meeting to decide whether the top of the T would be flat. <laughs> Now, it's very important to keep in mind that you will need your own 4K capable HDMI cable because one is not included. In fact, Apple sells one from Belkin that looks a lot like Apple's previous HDMI cable. Setup on the Apple TV is pretty simple. Once you select your language and country, all you have to do is select whether you... Okay. Uh, you can tell... Uh, this is a 17 minute video and I recommend that you watch it. There are several others. Uh, but it's called the Apple TV 4K Unboxing and Review, okay? But it goes by pretty fast. I mean, he really, you can tell just from the pace of the first three minutes that uh, you, you're going to have to pause a lot to pick up all of it. But uh, fortunately, I already did that. And that's sort of how I got the bullet points that uh, I'm going to hit today. So. Go back to the uh, main menu. <clears throat> okay, that's what the home screen of the Apple TV. By the way, that little thing about the white circle on the menu button, that is no small thing. I can't tell you how many times I've picked up this remote backwards because the darn thing is just about in the center of the remote. So you wind up pushing a button, pushing a button, and it's not doing anything. Oh, that's right, i got to turn it around. So now I know that the white button's already on, always on the left, and that's the menu button. The other button there is the home button. But anyway, that's what the home screen looks like. So the first thing I want to talk about is what is 4K, all right? I have this set up to go from uh, screen to screen screen here.
When you go to a movie theater, you may or may not be aware of the fact there's no such thing as film anymore. Okay? Everything is being digitally projected. If you want to think of it as they're playing a DVD in the booth, go ahead. That's not what they're doing, but that's close enough. The movies that you're actually watching are digitized movies that have a 4K resolution. So what that means is when, when you have a, a, a typical HDMI uh, uh, high definition television, okay, this, the image is made up of small little pieces of information called pixels. All right? Across the lower half, the dimension this way, is a little more than a thousand pickle, pickles. Pickles. <laughs> pickles. Okay? And then this way is something like 700. Okay? When you go to a movie in the theater, there's about 4,100 pixels this way and about 2,100 pixels this way. That's why it looks more like a photograph. Okay? This is not quite that resolution, but it's close. I think it's about 3,800 that way and about uh, a little under 17 or 1,800 this way, all right? So if you've walked into Costco and seen their screens, the screens on their TVs, and the, you look at it and you say, wow, that looks a lot better than what I have at home, it's because it is. They're probably projecting an image on a 4K TV, all right? So that gives you some idea of what you could expect. So the irony of this is, this projector is not a 4K projector, and I don't own a 4K TV yet. But I do have the 4K Apple TV because the rewards card, the credit card that I have, happens to offer it as a bonus. So I have enough points and I bought the bought the. Apple TV 4K for my, with my reward points. Okay. Are all the 4Ks premium priced at this moment? No. No. Um, as a matter of fact, um, the prices of 4K televisions, I've seen one that was one of the highest rated of, of, uh, by Consumer Reports, and it's about $1,400. Now, my, my high def, I have a Sony high definition at home, which is a 60 inch diagonal. And when I bought it, which is probably five years ago now, it was over $2,000. So the prices on TVs in general have fallen, even for 4K machines. Okay? Yeah? They sell a, at Costco a Roku TV 4K that you can get for under $1,000. Size. A Roku TV. It's called. It's got. It's called. It, it, it's Roku affiliated. Okay, I'll talk about that in a second. Okay. All right. So back to this. All right. What is 4K? You now know. What are the choices and what is the cost? All right. The choices are you have two Apple TV 4Ks. The cost, <coughs> surprise, surprise, is more than the old ones. Okay, so. Uh, you have a 32 gigabyte Apple TV, and that's about 180 bucks. And then you have a 64 gigabyte, which is around 200 bucks. Okay. I don't do gaming on my Apple TV, and that that is probably a reason why you might want the bigger one. Okay. Most of us would not want the bigger one, so we're talking about an investment of 180 bucks if you buy an Apple TV. Okay. That's for a new one. The old ones, I think, selling for, I think the old one has held its price. So the fourth generation Apple TV, which looks like this one, but is slightly different, is a, still about 149 bucks. With a slanted T. Yeah, with a slanted T. <laughs> yes. So the higher gigabyte has more programs, is that it? It what? has more, it's basically more hard drive space. Oh. So that uh, you could download more programs. Well, you're basically looking at, oh, <laughs> I ended remotes here. Um, this is the one I want. Okay, 
you're basically looking at all of the apps that I want to have on my Apple TV. It's about 20 maybe, okay? Because primarily I use it for streaming and mirroring, all right? So my next question on my list was, do you need the new Apple TV 4K? The answer is, it depends. <coughs> if you primarily stream movies from Amazon Prime Video or um, Netflix, Netflix or Hulu, you don't need an Apple TV 4K. You probably, if you buy a 4K television, most of them now are smart TVs that have these apps built into them. So you don't even need a Roku if that's all you do is stream from Netflix, Hulu, and or Amazon Prime. You don't need even a Roku, which is a lot cheaper than the Apple TV, okay? If that's all you do is stream, that's all you really need. <coughs> to get the benefit of the 4K, of course, you need a 4K television, okay? Because there are smart, high-definition televisions, too. So that's obviously a personal choice. I'm going to, I'm, <coughs> I'm going to be buying a 4K TV. My experience when I've compared how it streams, how the Apple TV streams with a built-in app in a TV, is this always seems faster and a better image to me than what is built into the TV. Now, that's a very limited experience. I don't want to oversell it. <coughs> but the TV that I'm talking about is probably three years old. It's a 32-inch high-definition TV I have in my bedroom, and it has Netflix and Hulu built in. And when I've gone to Netflix on that TV, it doesn't seem to respond as quickly as when I use my Apple TV, which I have connected to it. So that's that may be because of the location of the TV, too, because these are all wireless connections. Okay? Um, so if all well, if the TV is smart, you really do not need an Apple TV. Only if you if you're doing only streaming, streaming, that's it. Then you don't need an Apple TV. But I also do mirroring. Okay, so if I want to do mirroring from my either my iPhone or my iPad. I need to have an Apple TV. That's reason number one to have an Apple TV. Okay. Actually, probably reason number two. For me, reason number one is if you have a smart TV, it probably does not have iTunes in it. Okay? So if you want access to iTunes, which has got a lot of movies and a lot of music and, uh, and other things, TV shows, if you want to have access to that, then you need an Apple TV. Smart TVs are not coming, unless Apple builds their own TV at some point, uh, you're not going to have access to iTunes. And I really need access to iTunes. Um, so, do I need a new Apple TV 4K? It depends. Okay, now you said you saw a real cool TV. What you probably saw was an LG or a Samsung or something like that that had Roku built into it. No, it was a, it was a, oh gosh, I feel so silly because I, I brought that up and I don't, I, I may think of the name. I have two of them and they're fabulous. But to that point, my IT guy uh -huh. said exactly what you said, that I've got smart TVs all over the house, but he said the Apple TV is a better resolution and easier to use than if you use it off of the Netflix stuff like that, off of your smart TV. I agree. I mean, to me, this is kind of silly, but but to me, the hardest part the hard hardest part about the Apple TV, whichever generation you have, is using this new blasted remote. Because I have sausage cream. Okay, and so um, what is a sausage? Sausage fingers are stubby, chubby fingers. Okay, and not very sensitive to nuance. What do they taste like? What do they taste like? Braunschweiger. <laughs> but using the remote is kind of tricky because frequently what happens is I overshot, I overshoot the target sometimes. 
So, you know, I wanted to go to Prime Video, but I missed it. And, and so I'm using my thumb right now to go back and forth. It's not bad once you get used to it. But I have to say that I, I moved it to the slowest setting. Let me show you what I'm talking about.
couple a couple of days ago. Okay. So those must be iCloud folders. Could, um, could could you clarify something for me here? If, if I want to do a slideshow uh, from my computer, not the cloud, how do I do it? Uh, that's a good question. I wish I had a good answer. I, 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 I'm saying to you that I don't use the Apple TV for photos. So I don't know how to do that because I've never done it. You can mirror it off of your device. I think he wants to do it independently. Do you understand that you could mirror it off of an iPhone or an iPad? Sort of. Okay, I haven't done mirroring yet, but I'll be getting to that. Okay. Okay? So, uh, <clears throat> all those photos are photos that I took. Uh, you could do it in memories, uh, Jim. Yes? You can, memories is literally a slideshow. Okay. Uh, Sir, may, what is memories? Memories to the top. Uh, we, the yeah, you have a choice of, uh, th it's a slideshow that, that, okay. um... Now, hit August 1, it'll probably play as a slideshow, right? Hit that button to the right. Hmm. It'll have music to it, right? <clears throat> These are all G-rated, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're hoping. <laughs> Oh, and we get music too, Marilyn? Yeah, we do. Is that a default thing? It's a default. It's amazing what you start with. Okay, so that answers that question. Thank you. All right. Thank you, those of you who take photos. I take photos, but I mean, they're of my cat. Apple could probably put that together. Yeah. So, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you can change the music and put whatever you want. Yes. Yeah. So if, you, if you do memories on your iPhone, you can make your own memories. Okay. Yeah. But, Jim, regarding the applications that you download, uh -huh. um, two things. I see a list of providers that will allow you to use the credentialing on your, but Comcast is not a part of that. That's, that's my next uh, choice. Are okay. you sure? Because yeah. I thought they just changed to it. Oh, did they? Well, we'll find out in a minute. Okay. <laughs> the other question is, I have gone on to uh, um, Amazon uh, TV video. Yes, uh, Prime. TV Prime Video. And many times loaded my password and and uh, login, 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 login and password, and <clears throat> I cannot get it to come up. I log in every day on my, uh, frequently on my computer using the same data, but I can't get it to come up on the on the Apple TV. Uh, uh, my first question would be: Are you sure you're on the same network? Yeah. Okay. Um, my second, if I tried it a couple of times and it didn't work, I would delete the app and re-download it. Okay. Um, but I have to say overall my experience with Amazon Prime Video <coughs> is not as rapid as it is with iTunes or any films that I've bought from iTunes. You have to be so I have run into, I have run into more buffering. Do you, you all know what buffering is? No, no. I've run into more buffering with the Amazon Prime Video, even on my iPad, than, than yeah, I know here about your question of buffering. Oh, buffering, I'm sorry. You, you, go to, you go to play a movie and you get the circle of death in there that keeps spinning while the thing is loading, or in the middle of watching a movie, you'll get that screen and something will be spinning. That's buffering. It means it's going and getting enough data to fill in the reserve that's on the device so that you can do continuous play. You have to be a Prime member to get Amazon Prime. Yes, sir. Video. Absolutely. Right. And, and, and for me, it was a bonus because I'd been a Prime member for a couple of couple, yes. three years. Well, $1,000 or you pay. Or you pay. 
Or, or you can pay for. Yeah, you pay like yeah. 100 bucks a year. Yeah. And, and you, you get music. Zero. You get music with that too. Get the prank. Yeah. Jim, I just found it from Costco. It's uh, I have two of these. It's a 50 inch 4K with four HDMI ports, a smart TV. Uh, it's a oh no, I'm sorry, I just lost it. But here's one. It's a LG 50 right. inch at Costco uh, for 489.99. Yeah, is that is that a smart TV? And it's yeah. 4K. Yeah, and the one that I have is LTC. LTC. TLC. T L C is the brand. Yeah. Okay. Never heard of it. Costco. Yeah. T L C. Might be a house brand. T C L. Okay. I forget where we were. Upgrade. Yeah. I'm just reinforcing what Bill said. But if I had if I had the problem time and time again, Bill, I'd delete the app and re-download it. Okay. I'll try it. And and. The other question I have is if you have more than one Apple TV, do you have that problem on your other Apple TVs as well? No. It might be the location of the of the television in terms of your Wi-Fi network too. Right next door. Right next door? Well that's unreasonable. <laughs> so it's like a foot away? Yeah. Oh well, then that's not the problem. <laughs> Although with wireless stuff, aren't you supposed to have a certain distance yeah. between? No? They could be right on top of each other? Jerry said yes. It must be. Okay, let's go back to drowning in remote heaven here. Okay. Jim, so, um, Jim, can I ask one question on the recently added? Is that stuff that Apple has added, like that Moody Blues album? Did you add that, or did Apple add that? No, it's an album that I recently added. Yeah, that's that's a, uh, I believe that's a file in iTunes Music. So when you go when you go to your iTunes library, there's one folder that has like purchased, re, uh, recently purchased, another folder that just says purchased, another fo folder that says recently played, and another folder that says recently added. And so those are the ones that I just recently added. Got into a Moody Blues frame of mind because they're being inducted in the Rock and Roll. Oh, they were inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Big fan. Okay, uh, let's look at number four. Number four. Well, I have two number fours. <laughs> <laughs> you may be interested in knowing I used to be a math teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> First number four. <laughs> the best video. The best video available is Dolby Vision but it's not widely available in TV sets, okay? So you're gonna get 4K, which is very, very good, uh, high, high definition resolution, but some of the possibilities that you get out of the iTunes store, and I'm assuming Amazon Prime Video, is called Dolby Vision, that's supposed to be the ultimate in, in uh, video quality. Yeah. Yeah, this really connects to <clears throat> In my mind, the most important aspect of a 4K television, which is not the pixelization, but high dynamic range of the color. It, it, the color explodes off of the TVs when you have a 4K television that almost all of them built now are HDR capable. Right. And HDR, Dolby Vision is one version, HDR10 is another version. But uh, and all the TVs that are built now have it in them, and it's absolutely astounding mm -hmm. compared to anything else. Okay, I just I'm just guessing here, but <clears throat> figuring that Justice League was a very very popular and big film from last year, I'm pretending that I'm buying Justice League. Okay, so this is the screen that comes up. Mm -hmm. If you go up to this line right here, you'll see that the formats that it's available in, and right there is Dolby Vision, that does not come up for all uh, high def, high HDR, <coughs> 4K. I, I, I've not ever <coughs> knowingly watched Dolby Vision, although maybe that's what's being broadcast to Costco as well. But I'm not sure that most of us will be able to tell the difference. So, so you have an option to purchase it in either one of those? Yes. Yes. What do you do? And what, 
what happens is the Apple TV will sense what kind of television you have. Remember, remember the part, <laughs> it was pretty fast, so probably you don't. But when he was unboxing the thing, he said that they don't supply a, an HDMI cable. Right. Okay, so they don't supply an HDMI cable. You need a special HDMI cable for 4K. Oh. And I'm assuming it's expensive. Although Amazon always has some good deal on cable. So um, would you need a, a different a special yeah, the one HDMI, Dolby? The HDMI cable that I'm using right today would not give you 4K. You need a or Dolby. Or Dolby. Okay. Um, Having said that, that's another reason to get the, the, the Apple TV 4K is Apple has decided to automatically upscale uh, movies that you have already purchased. So if a couple of years ago you bought the first Superman movie and it was in high definition and it's now available in 4K and you have a 4K television, it'll automatically convert it to 4K. So you get the higher, better image. And uh, I, again, I've never seen what the difference is, but I have played a regular DVD on my Blu-ray player, and I can tell the difference in video quality between playing it on a Blu-ray player and playing it on a regular DVD player. I can notice the brightness being better, the color saturation being better. So if, that, if that's the case with this, that's a nice deal. They're automatically upgrading uh, purchases that you've made and will automatically, of course, sell them to you in 4K if you have a 4K machine. But, but by the way, the price is the same. But these are our movies that you bought through iTunes. Yes. Not others. No. <coughs> well, it's hard to get those on an Apple TV. In fact, I'm not sure how you do that. In other words, if, if you bought a Okay, I don't want to go down that road because I have no idea. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, you can either buy videos through Amazon Prime Video, or you can buy them through Apple TV, or you can buy them through like Comcast. Uh, you know, one of the things that you can do uh, with with your Comcast connection is buy movies, and the price is basically the same which way you go. My feeling is if it's the same price no matter which way you go. Why not buy it on iTunes? That's the friendliest one. Yeah. There's some paradoxes here because a 4K view from six, from 15 feet away is absolutely no different from a 2K. You have to be, <coughs> paradoxically, you have to be really close to see the difference between 4K and 2K. You're 15 feet away from your television? Well, how, uh, in our living room, I, I, we have an average size living room, uh -huh. and, and it won't uh, display the advantage of 4K unless you're really close. Mm -hmm. then, then the second thing I wanted to mention about TV sets is that if you read consumer reports closely, they give LG organic LED TV set a big push. Right. It is really superior to Samsung. Right. And so my next TV set is going to be an LG OLED. Uh, and I just mentioned those things because... The yeah, in the research that I, that I did, uh, I got basically the same answer. And, and that is that LG is probably in the vanguard here as far as 4K technology. Hold on, let me see if I find my notes. This Dolby Vision that I mentioned, uh, according to the, to the research I found, that LG supports it on all their TVs, which is probably the reason why the <coughs> reports had. I remember seeing that article. It had something like the top eight 
TVs, six of them were LG TVs, something like that. Yeah. I think a Sony snuck in there, but but right, Samsung does not, and Sony only has a few to support Dolby Vision. Uh, and and I've sort of made up my mind that when I go buy a 4K, it's probably going to be an LG. I've I've never actually bought an LG Vision product before, but I'm not selling any of that. I'm just saying. Uh, and for, for your information, I sit about 8 to 10 feet away from my TV set, so I'm pretty much engulfed by my TV set. I, that's what happens when you live alone. You can do things like that. <laughs> and I'll just let that lie. <laughs> um, okay. Yes, now. For 4K, when an unboxing guy, he said, notice this is a, a, H, a 4K, whatever, he said it, it's... He showed the outlet, and it's different. If you don't have a 4K TV, the, is, the, is it like a USB where the, it still fits in? So it's USB 2 or 3, doesn't matter. You can still plug in. Is the uh, good plug question. the same? I run, I run this with a regular HDMI cable. It's, okay. you're, you're watching it that way now. It's a regular HDMI cable. I don't know what the new ones look like. I've never seen a new one, but I'm assuming that the fitting is exactly the same. Because if you have the HDMI uh, jack in the back of your TV, there's a sensing mechanism that the TV does to determine whether the signal it's receiving is a 4K on the new cables. And like I said, I'm assuming the new cables are more expensive than the old ones. Thank you. Um, the second number four, four B, okay, four A, uh, universal signing. Uh, the last time I gave this talk, universal sign-in uh, had a few, only a few apps where that worked, and, and let me tell you what that means. If you have an app like <laughs> okay, if you have an app like uh, HBO Go, all right, or if, if you buy the streaming version, which is HBO Now, if you have that app, the first time that you use that app, you have to uh, log in. You have to supply a password. You have to supply a cable provider information. You have to supply login information. Okay. What has happened with the new Apple TV? Let me see if I can find it. This is actually the first time I'm looking for it. It's at settings, accounts. TV yeah. provider is Comcast Infinity. Okay, yeah. so remote TV provider. So technically speaking, now if I sign into Comcast, which I thought I already was, but maybe it wasn't. But if I sign into Comcast, Comcast with my normal login and password, then any of those independent apps like HBO Go or ABC, or frankly, almost any app that you would get from the App Store, will be automatically signed in to. Before this feature, this is one of the newest, to me, one of the newest features as a reason to get the thing. Before this, you had to log in on everything, every single app. So I had to do it for ABC, I had to do it for NBC, I had to do it for FX, I had to do it for Fox, I had to do it for HBO, Showtime. I watch too, too, too much TV, um, but you had to do it singly. Now, and I have not tested this, but I know that the new Apple TV 4K has the capability of doing universal sign-in, or see, I think it's called single sign-in. Yeah, I believe it's called single sign-in. But the old ones were updated that way too, weren't they? I'm sorry? Weren't the old ones updated too with the new operating system? You mean the one before this? Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing yes, because there was a new TV operating system, T 
TVOS is the is the name Apple gives the operating system. The new TVOS was just upgraded within the past month, and I'm guessing it has that feature. Jim, how can we go in? Is there a place to go into our older Apple TV and check what upgrades we can get? Um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure I understand your question, but um, in general, I'm sure she's got the most current upgrade. Yeah, in, in um, I, I, I can never remember where the update screen is. System. System sounds good. System. No, that's not the software. 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 Software.
And I don't know if you've ever tried to block, buy a Blu-ray in 4K format, but those suckers are expensive. You know, I'm, I'm guessing something like the Justice League in a 4K Blu-ray disc is probably 35 bucks. Uh, it's going to be a cold day, and you know what? Before I spend 35 bucks for a for a disc, it's just not worth it to me. Um, but it's nice to know that if I've already purchased the film, that Apple will give it to me in 4K. And by the way, I think the cable services have 4K choices too. I don't know. Can anybody verify that? I think Comcast has might have a 4K setting in its video. Comcast and Xfinity, and maybe it's only if you have Xfinity. Comcast is just starting 4K transmission. Netflix has has it, and uh, Prime Video has. Plenty of 4K. Okay. How about Hulu? Do you know if Hulu has it? Who, Google? Hulu. Hulu. <coughs> Hulu. H-U-L-U. -E. Hulu is newer. I'm not sure okay. about their capabilities. They're pro my, my impression of Hulu, uh, do we have any people who use Hulu? Nobody uses Hulu. Yeah, use you, it, my impression is it's mostly a TV app. Is that right? Old TV. Old TV. Okay. Like Paramation or something. Uh -huh. hmm. It has movies on it. Every once in a while they'll have a have an original film debut on Hulu. I watched the Beatles documentary on Hulu and I, I subscribed to it for one month simply to watch that movie. Okay. Um, number eight, which is really number nine. <laughs> USB-C is gone, but screen recording can be done wireless, wirelessly. Any of you who took the uh, Apple TV class that I taught over at, at uh, Hodges might remember the fact that <clears throat> I set up a connection between the Apple TV and my laptop and recorded the Apple TV on my laptop. Okay, think about that. So a video that you're playing on your Apple TV can be recorded on your laptop. Now, that was done through the USB-C connection. You're, uh, how many people are familiar with the USB-C connection? Okay. Almost all of, the, all of the connections now on the new MacBook Pros are all USB-C connections. Even the power connection and any of the uh, app, um, device, uh, external devices, they're all through USB-C. That is gone. But you can record wirelessly from the Apple TV to your laptop now. Uh, and and that unboxing video shows you how to do it. Now, I'm going to put an asterisk on that. And that is just because you can do it, or you have the connections and the, and the mechanics to be able to do it, doesn't mean that you will be able to do it. Because threaded through all of this stuff is digital rights management. What I have attempted, and maybe I can illustrate, maybe this would be the time to illustrate this right now. Okay, I think I will. This, I brought it up. Okay, one of, the, one of the powerful things about the Apple TV that I really like is its ability to mirror my phone and or my iPad. Okay, so I'm gonna mirror my phone. I've, I've gone to the control the control screen on my phone, I've touched screen mirroring, and up comes living room 4K. That's this Apple TV. So there's my phone. Okay. Oh. Also, I hit stop when I didn't want to. Okay. 3157. How do we know our airplay passcode? It gives you a different one each time. Okay. Um, my question is, why do I not have a screen that enables me to set that? I think it was somebody else is wrong. It said Wayne's. It said Wayne's wrong. Oh, wait, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's Wayne? Wayne. Wayne? The guy in the front. Oh. <laughs> I might have done something. I guess I'll <laughs> Can you let me come out of the screen, you Back out of that. And do yeah. It. You got to back out of it. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
me try again. Okay, that's me. Um, okay. <clears throat> okay, so you, you see this app right here? Okay, 
As I mentioned, no HDMI 4K, 4K cable supply. Number 12, the lovely Amazon Prime Video app. For, for many, many years, many of you knew that uh, the Amazon Prime Video app was desired by everybody who owned the Apple TV, but it, because of the fighting between Apple and uh, Amazon, I frankly never thought it was going to happen. And so when it happened about a year ago, it was a very, very welcome news. So again, this is an app that you have to go and get at the App Store and download it. But, uh, and it'll be interesting to see what happens here, Bill, if I um, try getting something on Amazon Prime Video? Oh, I forgot to stop mirroring. I'm in device hell. There we go. Okay, so let's see what happens. I am on what's called the instructor, uh, the instructor Wi-Fi network. That's the circle of death I was talking about. That was pretty fast, Bill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. And frankly, I credit the uh, the uh, Apple TV on that. So I'm not sure. Are you having any trouble with the Apple TV or this, your smart TV? Apple TV. Apple TV works great, uh -huh. but I just can't get access to my Prime video channel. How did you say? So when I was talking about the buffering problem, Mary, it's like you're watching the TV and all of a sudden it freezes and you get that circle of death. Okay. By the way, a very good film. <laughs> Weird ending. Yeah. Yeah. Unless she had a question. Yes, question. Uh, no, I forget because I was thinking of your speaker and that. And I was going to ask you to tell me the name of the speaker again. It's called the Big Jam Box. Big Jam Box, J A M B O X. And uh, we just checked the price. Uh, uh, it's uh, about $250 on Amazon right now. Mm -hmm. Do you know uh, are the app? Uh, available apps on the Apple TV comparable to the Google? You know, I, Compar comparable to Google? To Google. To Google. To Google. To Google. Um, uh, is there about the same number of apps available or not? No, I don't. I don't know enough about the Roku. Uh, like I say, if you have the Roku, you're paying, you're paying less. So if all you're interested in is streaming, that the Roku is a good investment. I think it's about a third of the price of the Apple TV. I think the Roku is like 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. So if all you're doing is streaming, and you don't need mirroring, and you don't need access to iTunes, then the Roku is a great investment. And it gets, by the way, it gets great uh, consumer reports reviews, too. Um, so, yeah. I noticed that when you had Prime Video, Amazon Prime Video, you had no 4K or ultra high definition options. Probably because my output is into this projector. Yeah. And, and, and the cables are not 4K cables. Right. It, it didn't give you that option. But once Does you get that hooked up, they all pop up. Does it all the 4K stuff pop up? Oh, but you also have to pay more 
for Amazon Prime to get 4K. I mean, uh, no, not for Amazon Prime. Uh, what's the other one? Netflix. Hi, you do? Netflix. Hulu, Netflix. No, it's, what's the other one? There's one that you have. Oh, Netflix. Netflix. You got to pay. At $4 more to get 4K. Yeah. Really? How, do you have any idea how much more? I mean, it can't be that much more. It's got to be probably 5 bucks more. $4, four dollars more. Four dollars more. It might have changed. But Netflix is already up to about eleven bucks now, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's about fifteen. Uh, that's that's a good question. See if yeah, you, none of them are like Arrival. <coughs> Arrival is a fairly recent movie, so if it exists in four K, yes, it doesn't come up at all as a choice. It probably doesn't present the choice because I haven't paid them yeah, the money. Right. Or because I don't have the equipment for it. Okay, how are we doing on time, folks? Uh, 12:40. Oh my God, that went fast. <laughs> Any last-minute questions? I, I have one too. See if I have. Uh, okay. I think there was one in there too. Yeah. I just hold on just a second, Mary. Okay. Just want to double press the home key for scroll history. Okay. Uh, airplay, game controller, home kit automation, and watch control, home sharing. Okay, well, these are golden oldies that I've covered before and I didn't get to today because we ran out of time. Yes? When I'm scrolling through choices of films or TV shows, suddenly I'm getting lots of music with the one that I'm scrolling past. It's I, I don't want any sound, and I don't want them to be running the film, a, a trailer of the film while I'm scrolling. Even if I pause for a moment, it starts a video, it really? starts music. And what, what, what app is this I, It's either a crime or um, Netflix. Those are the only two that I really well, I guess have. Well, it's, my, Netflix. Guess it's, the same thing. it's a pain in the neck. They just started that. It didn't used to do that. Like so so you, you're, you're saying to me power. that that if I look, if I bring up the Netflix app you know, so and, and you touch an icon, it'll yeah. start playing the trailer. It expands the icon as your choice, uh -huh. and then it will play some of the movie, huh. and it'll be a video. And it's very distracting. Choices. You're trying to think and make your choices, but yeah. you're being blasted by the trailer of the, of the is, choice. Is there a pause button that you can? I touch. think I'm going to try the mute all the time, but what about you? That I'll have to mute. Yeah. And there is a volume control on, on the new remote of the Apple TV, and well, the old one it had it too. And I'm not sure what kind of volume it would control. I'm, I'm guessing that because I have my speaker connected with Bluetooth, that it, it's probably controlling the volume on my speaker. Yeah, back there. Yes, you. I, I just found my Apple TV that I bought a while ago and tried to resurrect it. Uh, I had, had fun with it. It's a Generation 3. It's the one that came out, it's the upgraded one that came out in 2015. Uh -huh. uh, I can't find my remote for it. It was a silver one. Uh -huh. and I'm struggling with the remote on my uh, phone. However I got that, I don't remember, but it works. If I want to get a new remote to stand alone, what would I get? Would I get the Siri now or get an old one? Get an old one. That's I, think the old like one. I think they're like 15 bucks. Okay. This is, this is the old one. This, I'll tell you one for 100. This is the new one. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't get the new one, I can just find the old uh, silver yeah. one. Which yeah, one. in fact, I lost one um, a couple of years ago. When I, I don't remember what what the price is for the for the old uh, kind of remote, but the, yeah, Apple is selling one. That is cheap, okay? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have three little tiny questions. Where is do you know of a place for the best price for the new generation for the new Apple TV? Or do you I, I would I wouldn't worry about shopping around. All right. I mean, Amazon might sell it to you for a buck less yeah. or two bucks less. And but we all know Apple Apple <laughs> products are pretty much fair trade. Well, if you watch the Best Buy ads. They will probably show up once a month. Or I would think that's your best chance is that a house, that a house coupon of some sort or a house yeah. discount of some sort would get you the best price. Out and do you have best uh, uh, information on best place to go for mirroring tutor, tutor, tutorials 
and Bluetooth tutorials? I would do it on YouTube and enter just exactly what you said to me. Bluetooth tutorial. And what's the name of this big box, big bang thing that you started out with? This your sound box. The, 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 the speaker. Yeah. The no, big no. jam box. No, no, no. When you started the t tutorial on the oh, guy, okay. unboxing. Unbo it's called unboxing and review. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to add, yeah. you want to enter yeah. Apple TV 4K yes. unboxing yes. and yes. review. Thanks. George. No, no, I was just no, looking. Four. Uh, Chris, this is the voice. voice. This one. Just do the search. Uh, you you want to the whole search movie and use that voice? Yes. But it won't search every place. It, it tends to search mostly through iTunes so that you'll yeah. buy iTunes. It's one generation. Yeah. It's all generation. You know, before um, this new one. You have the one that they just updated. It would have to now. He said, don't bother how you're doing this. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Let's see if I can get something like that. Play a James Bond movie. Hmm. I don't know, quite a few James Bond movies. Okay. Okay. But, but then, of course, all those are all from iTunes, and of course, what they want to do is they want to sell them, sell them yeah. to me. Open in Prime Video. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, right. maybe it's free yeah. in Prime Video. Looks that way. So where, where I use it most of all, most of all, is when I go to an app and I have to enter something in a in a, a password or a login, I okay. speak it into the remote. I press there's a <coughs> button just before you see the white button? <coughs> just below the white button is a Siri a, a Siri microphone, and you speak your password into it. You know, say like capital. Mm -hmm. Capital H. I, I think you say Cap H. When I when I say the first letter of my password, it's Cap C. Yeah. Could you go back to the app uh, the schedule of apps? You know the main page. Go up to the up a little bit. You ever use that that one above right above that one? That's no. the TV app. Yeah. You ever yeah. use it? No. Pardon? No, I don't. They changed it a lot. And it's got See, I, over, I overshot it. <laughs> it supposedly it has everything on you. It has all of your history. Okay, so all of the things you so like there's to the watch. James, there's the James Bond movie that I just right. watched up. It has your, it, and it, there's it, There Will Be Blood, which was in Amazon Prime. Body Double, which is a film that I purchased. I don't know what Electric Dreams is, but Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee is Jerry Seinfeld's. It has all the things you like. It's all artificial. But specifically, these are all things that I've watched recently. Right. The Good Wife, that was a while Then you go down further and you find more stuff. Let me know. Jim, like, can you buy one of those new remotes and use it with an old Apple TV? It won't help. The operating system will be different. No, it'll be a waste of money. Okay, thank you folks. Thank you.